we have name and score. I want the top two. I see them listed sorted over here. But if I change this to three, I want the top three. Wait a second, top four? Yes, if there's a tie, I want to list that one also. Now, last video, Flashback Friday number five. We had to do this crazy old school array formula. But in this video, we want to see how to do it with the new Office 365 dynamic array formulas. Now, I'm shooting this on October 8th, 2019. And currently, the new Excel calculation engine and dynamic arrays are only available in Insider. Now, anytime you're trying to extract top values, you have to think about ties. Now, if I ask, please give me top three, well, I don't know if it should be Chantel or Nippy. If I want to pull out both and include both 22s, then I first have to ask, what's the actual top third value? We can use the large function. I give it the entire score column, comma, and three. Close parentheses, and when I hit Enter, it gives me 22. That's the value that we're going to use as a condition or criteria. We're going to ask the question of this column right here. Please give me all the rows that are greater than or equal to 22. That way, we get both 22s. Now we get to use our first dynamic array function, filter. In the array, I'm going to select the whole table. This is an Excel table, so I see my diagonal black arrow. I click. That's the score table, comma. I want to filter it to include only certain items. Select score. And ask the question of that column, how many of you are greater than or equal to the hurdle? That argument right there, if I hit F9, delivers trues and falses which will filter the table. Control Z, I come to the end, close parentheses. My Excel has the new Excel calculation engine. So filter, when I hit Enter, delivers all of the rows that meet that condition or criteria. Now up in the formula bar, I see it's grayed out. If I click in the top cell, that's the only cell where that formula lives. If I come over and change this to 5, that is absolutely beautiful. That cell right there delivers the 22, but the formula doesn't live there, only in the top left cell. Now I'm going to Control Z. Now I want to sort this based on the score column, so F2. Use our second dynamic array function, sort. That's the array, comma, sort index. One, two. I want to sort on the second column, so I'm putting a two there, comma. And I want descending. I want the biggest one first, so I'm going to use minus one, close parentheses, and Enter. That is totally beautiful. Now, if I change this to five, we have exactly what we want. All right, bonus trick number one. I'd like some formatting for this report. But because I don't know how many rows it's going to be, I'm going to go ahead and highlight more rows than I ever think will spill. And we want to go up to Conditional Formatting, New Rule. Or we can use the keyboard, Alt-H-L-N. We want to use a formula to determine which cells to format. And I'm going to use the Page Down key to get to that option. I'm going to click in Format Values where this formula is true or use the Tab key. We want to check every cell to see if it's empty. Equals count a, which counts not empty cells, open parentheses. And I want the very first cell reference. So as it's copied over and down, it moves. And the default in the conditional formatting dialog box is absolute. So I hit the F4 key one, two, three times to make sure it's a relative cell reference. Close parentheses, format. And you can do whatever formatting you want. I'm going to do border outline for the cell and fill more something like that color. Click OK, click OK, click OK. And now I want to change this to 3 and Enter. That is working. All right, that was a little fun with top three or top five values with some conditional formatting using dynamic arrays. If you want to learn more about dynamic arrays, I have a comprehensive introductory video that teaches you all about these amazing new functions and the new Excel calculation engine. Thank you.